At the same time, Ottawa's construction market was overheated. Parliament's multi-billion dollar renovation and other mega-projects drained skilled workers, leaving RTG scrambling to fill gaps. Labor shortages meant higher wages and stretched schedules. In some cases, RTG partners were competing against themselves. Alliston was juggling massive builds in Toronto and Ottawa simultaneously, driving up costs at both sites. Yet, in spite of the challenges, political pressure kept pushing for speed. The Guardian noted that councillors wanted a showpiece ready for Canada's 150th anniversary in 2017, even though experts warned the timetable was unrealistic. The original launch date slipped to 2018, then again to 2019. By the time the system opened, years had been lost, and costs were higher than anyone originally promised. The city's decision to award Stage 2 contracts before Stage 1 was proven functional only compounded the pressure. 